Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking SD77. Again, uh, for the second video today, second video today, second video today. Um, this is the Pie Tracker review I promised you guys, or said I was going to do. Okay, so we're doing another Pie Tracker review. Okay, tonight we have... We have... Frog Morden Cellar Pie Tobacco. Okay, this is a McLennan's Pie Tobacco, Frog Morden Cellar. This is actually a pretty new Pie Tobacco. It was... <clears throat> it was released, um, I think a couple months ago. And we're about to review it. So, okay. This Pie Tobacco contains two primary tobaccos. Virginia and Latakia. And it contains, um, Frog Morden Special, special Whiskey. Okay. So, it's what you would call, in the world of tobacco, pie tobacco, uh, aromatic English, or aromatic Latakia. So, it has both Latakia in it, and flavorings, or ameliorants. So, it has flavorings in Latakia. Okay. Now, um, let's open the tin and see what it smells like. Now, this is what it looks like when you open the tin. Very dark like many of the Frog Mortons. I've smoked um, all the Frog Mortons, including this. I've smoked Frog Morton in the town, um, across the pond, on the bayou, and Frog Morton regular. It's very dark. Um, you can smell a lot of Kia, definitely. But you also smell something different, um, kind of sweet. Anyway, let's do the actual re review. Okay, um, strength-wise, uh, nicotine-wise. I would say the, the nicotine content of this blend is probably, mmm, I'd say it's probably mild to medium. There's a little bit of strength there, a little bit of nicotine there, not going to overwhelm me by any means, more closer to mild. I would say a little bit of a head rush, a little bit of a, makes me a little lightheaded, but nothing um, substantial. So, for novice pipe smokers, this is an easy blend to smoke, not going to overwhelm me at all. Okay, the body is tobacco. I think the body of this tobacco is probably mm, medium, medium to full. There's a good amount of body there. It's not bland at all. That's good because no one likes bland tobacco. Um, it's very um, it you taste a lot of Kia, definitely. Mainly in the aftertaste when you exhale, you taste a lot of Kia in the back of your throat. But you mainly taste the aromatic components of this blend. Um, like I said, it's an aromatic English or an aromatic lot of Kia. You taste um, it's a very sweet taste um. I would describe it almost like a berry taste, if that makes sense. Um, kind of like a berry taste, like a fruit flavor. Which is kind of interesting because whiskey should taste very strong and very robust. But it's a kind of a berry taste. Um, the flavor is tobacco, the flavor. I would say the ameliorants, the tobacco, which are whiskey, come, it comes through as more of a berry-like flavoring, a fruit-like flavoring. Or more like, um, it actually kind of tastes in a way, in a way, kind of like the Black and Mild Royal. If you ever had a Black and Mild Royale, or Royal, it kind of, kind of tastes like that. It's uh, very sweet, very smooth, uh, not harsh at all, which is good, because no one likes harsh tobacco. Um, so, the flavorings, I would probably classify it as uh, medium. You taste a lot of the flavorings. The room note, the room note. I would say the room note is pleasant, you know. Now, anything with Latin can it will smell offen somewhat offensive to non-smokers, like I always say. Um, but what I'm trying to say is, because it has both aromatic flavorings in it and Latakia flavorings, it doesn't smell as offensive. Not the best, best social tobacco. Not anything like Berry Cobbler or like Chocolate Cream or Piper's Pleasure by Boswell. Those smell amazing. They smell very, they just are so pleasant to smell. And most non-smokers will love that. But this blend, probably not the best one. But I'd say it's pleasant and tolerable, the, the actual smell of it. But, again, there are people, like, like I always say, and I always will say, there are people who say, I hate the smell of tobacco smoke. I hate the smell of smoke. It's disgusting. I don't want to be around it. It's disgusting. It's gross. But for people who tolerate pipe and cigar smoke and pipe smoke, I'd say this is pleasant and tolerable. Uh, the tongue bite of this tobacco, the tongue bite. The tongue bite of this tobacco... There's a little bit of bite there, a little bit of irritation to the tongue, mainly in the last third of the bowl. This is very common for a lot of aromatic blends. In the last third of the bowl, there is a little bit of tongue bite. So, 
if you puff too hard, you will get you will get burned. But um, slow puffing and um, knowing when to and to, know knowing when to um, you know, stop and um, dump it out will help you a lot. So a little bit of tug bite, not anything substantial though. Um, <clears throat> uh, would I suggest or recommend to our pipe smoker and our pipe smoker? Yes. If you like aromatic Latakia blends, they are very uncommon nowadays. Um, they used to be more common. Aromatic Latakia blends or hybrid blends or um, crossover blends, they used to be more common years ago. They are very different, but you know, if you like it, you know, again, myself, I like most pipe tobaccos and most tobaccos in general, so I might be a little biased here, but most, I like most tobaccos, so this isn't bad. I know Stogie Farts, for example, loves this tobacco and bought like, um, like almost over a pound of it. So I'd say it's good. It's highly recommended, highly recommended on tobaccoreviews.com, which is my reference. Um, what else? The, the retrohaling of this blend, I think I've retrohaled this blend a little bit, nose breathing. When I say retrohale, I mean nose breathing. Um, not really any different, just a little bit more peppery. When you retrohale, you generally get more heavier, earthier, peppery taste or smell through your nose. But I'm saying, I, I did say I was going to do that in my review, so I just wanted to add that in. Anyway, overall rating for this blend, overall rating for Frogmore and um, Stiller, I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. Not bad. That's about average in my book. 8 out of 10 is about a B, B minus, because I go by grading scale. Like a college grading scale, so B, B minus. Not super great, but not bad either. It is a little goopy. It's a little goopy, the tobacco, in a bed, in a, especially in a bed pipe. Um, like uh, this pipe, for example. It's a little goopy, but um, it's a little hard to pack. I mean, it's a little hard to pack. It's a little loose. I did dry it out for a good, a good 45 minutes or so. So, anyway, I'd probably give it an 8 10. It's not bad. Pick it up. You know, it's cheap. I mean, it's a little expensive now because it's, um, or it used to be a little bit expensive because it was a newer tobacco, but it's probably, it's going to probably come down in price. So, give it a try. This has been, um, Frogmorn Cellar Pie Tobacco by McClellan's. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, pizza pie. See you later. And yeah, bye bye.